So if you were lucky enough to roll Annabelle, I mean, that is really good because, yes, she is another water hero. You know, there are a lot of water heroes now out there, but, I mean, she is one of the better ones, I would say, you know, especially when it comes to tanking anyway. So she does... what? Uh, she also does slash damage with the sword. And then she does for her Valor Chance. So when she is on the bench and she is switching to your party during a fight, then she buffs party members' uh, resistance by up to 35%, depending on which upgrade it's on. So the higher the upgrade, the more she's going to buff your party member. So definitely upgrade that. And then Brilliant Blow, I mean, she has... Uh, this is like a single, uh, so it's a slash damage on a single target, decreases the power by 15%, and inflicts rage. So uh, rage is actually like a taunt, so you're taunting the enemy to attack her instead of your other weaker party members. So she, it's really good for her to have this because if you have, you know, heroes that you're trying to level in your party, or you have other weaker party members in general, she will take the hit instead of them. So she is a really good addition to have to your party. And then uh, her abilities, a lot of them that she has is just upgrading this, this ability right here. So I'm going to kind of like skim over those when I come across them. And then her Aqua Slash. Our Aqua Slash is uh, slash water damage on a single enemy, small damage. And then this uh, Splash Sword right here is just a medium so it's the, exact, it's the exact same thing, except it does medium damage instead of small damage. And then her um, this Guardian Soul buff right here, it's just buffing physical resistance of all party members by 20%. So if you're taking a lot of physical, uh, physical damage, then definitely use this ability. I mean, it could be pretty helpful. But I mean, I would definitely favor this Elemental Wall ability down here because... You just never know what the enemy is going to throw at you. And like being able to buff all party members' resistance by 30% for three turns with a small heal is really good to have. I mean, because if you don't know what's going to be thrown at you, then uh, this ability I would definitely favor over uh, buffing physical resistance alone. So definitely grab that ability. And then uh, Knight's Pride is just an, it's just an upgraded version of a brilliant blow and then holy saber is an aoe she she actually does have an aoe attack which is really good it does uh slash damage on all enemies um so it's just slash damage no water no nothing just slash damage and um decreases the enemy's intelligence by 20 percent. so if you're taking a lot of if you're taking a lot of elemental damage by enemies and then just use this ability and it'll decrease the amount of damage they do and deal damage to all of them so this is a really awesome ability to have so if you need aoe more aoe in your party definitely do grab that ability and then this uh this deliverance sword down here is just an upgraded version of brilliant blow and i believe that i would just use this as like an ultimate ability or you can even use holy saber as an ultimate ability so either one it's your pick because I believe that even though this ability, it, it does more damage, yes. So depending on your play style, if you don't really care about mana, then definitely do use this ability. But if you care more about mana, then definitely just spam uh, Brilliant Blow. Because it only costs 20 MP. So if you need the mana to last a lot longer, then definitely use Brilliant Blow. But if you don't care about mana, just go ahead and use deliver and sort all you want um so yeah if y'all have any questions just leave a comment below and i will talk to y'all next time